hey love welcome to another video on the channel today i'm going to be taking down my five week old mini twist and as you can see i am not in the mood but it's about time and my head is beginning to look like a rat's nest i'm going to be sharing tips on how to properly do this without ripping out all of your hair and all of your edges and i'm going to give you tips on how to keep your twist from locking so if that has always been a problem for you stay tuned so i'm going to start by dividing my hair into sections so that it's easier for me because if i go at this all at once <laughs> i might just lose my sanity imagine this is 180 twists on my head just divide it into sections just makes it easier for me i don't know next i'm going to grab my conditioner uh this is is the nature endowed restore leave-in conditioner and i chose it because it has a soft like buttery consistency because usually at this point this is where people like use their oils or their butters but i don't really use oils and butters in my hair anymore so i prefer to use a uh, conditioner if i had a rinse house conditioner um i would have used that by now but i do not have one so what i have is what i will use <laughs> So I'm using this leave-in conditioner to kind of lubricate my hair strands so that the takedown process is not like really hard and my hair is not dry. Okay, it's very, very important. Do not, do not take down your hair when it is dry. So after working it in, I pack the section up and then get cracking. So at this point, you need to carefully loosen the twist, like carefully unravel it. And then, you know, when you unravel a twist, you have the two strands that you use to make the two strand twist, you know what I'm saying? So you now have to gently unravel each of those two strands like use the patience of job the key here is patience because if you are rushing you will end up creating a giant knot which might be cut out and that's just you cutting your hair like you don't want that you want to lose as little hair as possible so you need patience here like look at this twist now see how it's being stubborn if i wasn't patient now that's how i'd have ripped my hair to shreds so what i do in conditions like this now is i'll take a little bit more conditioner and then apply it to the roots that bottom that is being so stubborn so stressful so matted and once i apply the conditioner there and i massage it in a little bit it starts to soften up and then i go in again with my fingers and just try my best to gently detangle until eventually the twist decides to have sense and detangle yeah i don't care how you want to do it if you need to play good music if you need to watch movies if there is one series you've been wanting to catch up on play it so that you can just be calm and be doing this thing because if you rush here we go there's product in my hair so that's good because like i said before it provides lubrication and allows your strands to kind of slip and slide and detangle from each other easily but you still have to take things slow so that you don't encourage tangles and knots especially in this part of your hair parts that line your your hair like your nape and your edges the outer parts of your hair you know make sure you take proper care of those areas so once i loosen a few twists in the same area i apply a little more conditioner and then finger detangle a bit then i put the whole thing in a big loose twist and you know that section will be done you know please can i get a little commotion for the length <laughs> can i get a little commercial for the length please come on now <laughs> so basically i'm going to repeat all that all throughout my head i'm going to apply conditioner to a section of twist to lubricate my hair strands then loosen the twist gently unravel each strand with patience finger detangle and then put it all into a big loose twist it's going to take some time which is why i suggested watching a movie or a series that you need to catch up on so that you will not be feeling like you you are in a hurry or you need to rush just be loosening the hair and be watching your series they go all right make sure you have good entertainment it's very important it helps with the patience okay so now that i'm done you know explaining how i go about the takedown let's get to the juicy tips on how to keep your twist from locking up because all the time that i had this twist on people kept asking me is it locking is it locking it doesn't look like it's locking how are you preventing it from locking three tips that are going to help you or basically three tips that i think helped me okay so you can try them and by god's grace they will help you in jesus name amen okay so i've been natural for four years now and in that time i have done a lot of mini twists and they have always locked 
once i carry them more than two weeks like this bam i've carried dreadlocks on my head they will start to lock and then they will start to unravel by themselves you know and i always had that problem this particular twist i carried it for five weeks and as you can see so far in the takedown they have not been locking the only ones that i can really say locked are the ones that are closer to the edges like my the one in my edges and the one in my nape but all the twists in the middle they didn't lock at all so let me just tell you what i did that made that possible for me to carry a uh, twist for five weeks without having all of them lock up the way twists normally lock up so what i did different number one is that i blow dried my hair before making the twist i don't know the science behind it but i just know that that's one thing that i did differently that gave me this result now if you are not a fan of blow drying find a way to stretch your hair like stretch it out properly or i'm not talking about just like maybe packing your hair before doing this like i'm talking if you need to use twists or braids or banding to stretch your hair you need to have kept those twists or braids or bands for like at least maybe a few days make sure that there is no moisture in your hair at all kind of like as if you are doing a twist out make sure your hair is properly fully stretched out and void of any kind of like dampness like your hair does not have to be dry there can be leave-in conditioner there can be all those things inside but there shouldn't be water you understand so make sure your hair is properly stretched out okay so after blow drying my hair the next thing that i did was that i twisted loosely i feel like one of the things i used to make hair to lock is you know when you are twisting tightly if you twist your hair yourself or if you've watch when they are twisting your hair for you you will notice it you kind of roll the two strands together before you twist them so if if you are doing that and then you are twisting tightly you are basically kind of creating the lock by yourself so the longer you keep those kind of twists the the more time that your hair strands are spent closely packed together that they begin to form locks so i twisted loosely and i actually saw the difference there was more space between my strands so my hair was looking fuller like i had more volume and then since there was so much space between them there was no there was no avenue for them to start gumming together to form locks the last thing that i did was i made sure that i moisturized my hair like i kept my hair moisturized this one is also very very important because when your hair starts to dry they start to tangle and in the cause of tangling locks can form so what i did was that i made sure i stuck to my moisture routine now if your moisture routine on a normal day when your hair is not in twist or in a protective style is that you moisturize your hair every two days or every three days when you put your hair in twist continue to moisturize your hair every two days or every three days when my hair is not in twist i moisturize my hair every week once every week in fact sometimes i will moisturize my hair twice just to be on the safe side so i kept my hair moisturized and everything for people that blow dry their hair before they put in their twists that doesn't mean that you will not moisturize your hair at all though, because you blew out your hair oh. i blow dried my hair before doing the twist yes but i made sure i still moisturize my hair and as you can see the twist still maintained their puffiness their volume your volume is not just going to instantly disappear when you moisturize your hair so don't be afraid of that okay make sure you moisturize your hair so those are the three things that i did differently to make sure that my twist didn't lock okay first off i made sure that my hair was properly stretched i would link the video to that in the description and in the end card so you can watch it after this video then i twisted loosely and then there is now moisturizing your hair while your hair is in twist this will help you to retain length to retain moisture it would keep your hair from breaking moisturizing your twists has so many benefits even other than preventing your hair from locking so make sure you do that okay okay i am finally done knowing the kind of human being that i am i know that if i don't wash this hair today it's over i will carry this my dirty smelly hair because i didn't wash my hair at all throughout the five weeks that i carry this mini twist why i do not know but i need to wash this hair today if I didn't wash this hair today, I can go another two weeks. So I'm running straight into the shower. Now, my wash day routine immediately after a protective style is basically the same. Like it's, it's the same thing. Nothing changes. The shampoo that I use on a normal day is a mentholated shampoo. 
it has tea tree oil it has menthol so it's going to soothe my scalp now if you don't normally use this kind of shampoo i would advise you to use it especially if you are just coming off a protective style because you know your scalp has been through it you know what i'm saying so it will be very good to just like you know scintillate your scalp a little bit you know to tantalize it with some minty goodness and yummy freshness you know what i'm saying so yeah um now on a normal day i preach that deep conditioning is a treatment if you skip one week of deep conditioning let me tell you one name your hair will not die your hair will be just fine i have gone months without deep conditioner and i still have hair so use me as testimony oh but immediately after a protective style i would advise that you deep condition because you know moisture needs to be restored deep 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 into your um hair strands so yeah after shampoo i deep condition and then after deep conditioning thoroughly detangling and all that you know i would moisturize my hair this particular day yeah they took light and then my my light battery died so i will not be able to show you the scalp care part of my routine so if you want to watch my full wash day routine then i'm going to link it in the description so you can go and check it out i'll see you in my next video next week bye